friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today is day five here on board Cunard Lines Queen Elizabeth. And we are, we've actually just docked a little while ago in Sitka, Alaska. So very excited to check out Sitka. I've actually never been here before on my other Alaska cruises. So really excited to check out Sitka and see what it is all about today. So we had a kind of a bit of a rude awakening this morning, so to speak. Somebody on our floor didn't write their cabin number. So it was one of the cabins next to us. Uh, on their room service card and we were loudly awoken quite early this morning with a room service order that unfortunately was not ours. That's okay, things happen. So we had a bit of an early start which we got to watch the sail in, so very excited for that. We are going to let, there are some free shuttles that will take you into Sitka this morning. Um, we have a Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas, uh, literally they've docked right beside us. So we're going to kind of let the line <laughs> go in regards to the uh, shuttles because they do run for complimentary shuttles into Sitka once every 15 minutes. So we're kind of kind of let them go and uh, the rest of our ship leave. Uh, so we're going to go for breakfast right now and kind of leisurely leave the ship hopefully around 9, 9.30. So let's see what we get up to today in Sitka. It is another beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. So we're having absolutely amazing weather this cruise to Alaska. So yeah, so let's see what we get up to today. And I think definitely there's gonna be more pool action this afternoon. So let's get going. For breakfast this morning in the Britannia restaurant, I had the avocado toast with a side of a sausage and a hash brown. We were quite happy we waited for most of the passengers on both ships to depart as there was quite a line at one point. I was able to pick up a map from the Tourism Information Center here at the cruise terminal, which was very helpful visiting Sitka. We didn't have any shore excursions planned, so we really wanted to see what the town was all about. The Sitka Cruise Terminal is located about a 10 to 15 minute drive outside of the town of Sitka. There are free shuttles that run continuously into Sitka from the cruise terminal and of course return. Basically, as soon as a bus is full, it heads off. Once you arrive into Sitka, you are dropped off at the Sitka Museum and Historical Society. You'll also find vendors selling shore excursions here if you didn't pre-book any. We walked around the historical center of Sitka. At the very heart is this Orthodox church that was originally built in 1848. There are also plenty of shops around Sitka and some are local shops that feature local Alaskan artists. We even got to see a bald eagle land on the steeple of the church. Sitka was the site of the transfer ceremony for the Alaska Purchase between Russia and the United States on October 18, 1867. The United States purchased Alaska for $7.2 million, or 2 cents per acre. 
There are plenty of walking trails and things to do and see in Sitka. We didn't do too much walking as I had my grandmother with me and she can't walk too far, but we still really enjoyed our morning walking around the town. Once we were back on board the Queen Elizabeth, we headed up to the Lido restaurant, which is the buffet on board. As we were at 50% capacity on our sailing, only half the buffet was open. After lunch, my grandmother had a nap in our stateroom and I got changed and spent some time up on the pool deck enjoying the sunshine. After a couple hours, I went back to our cabin and changed in time to catch sail away from the aft pool deck on deck 9. Sailing away from Sitka is so beautiful. The islands and the mountains make for such a picturesque setting. As the wind was getting quite strong and cool, we watched the rest of the sail away from Sitka in the Commodore Club. I was also finally able to take a peek into the Yacht Club. This space is used as a nightclub and also a live music venue on board, and during the day sometimes they hold events such as trivia here. At the entrance of the Yacht Club, you'll find the scale model of the Queen Elizabeth. We headed back to our stateroom to start getting ready for dinner as it was another gala night. This one was themed for the Roaring Twenties. For dinner tonight, I had the watermelon salad to start, followed by the beef wellington with a lobster tail on the side. They even deshelled the lobster right at the table. For dessert, we had the baked Alaska. Hi friends, so we are back in our stateroom. It is quite a bit rocky tonight, um, so we're going to call it a night. We did kind of pass by the Queen's room, which they have the big band and live dancing. People really go all out for the gala nights here on Cunard, I've noticed. Pretty well everybody had something that was 20s themed. There's not really any movies on either that are kind of um, catching our fancy, so yeah, I think we're just going to call it a night because it's been a busy, busy couple days. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
and also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as there are going to be a couple more episodes in this Cunard Lines Queen Elizabeth cruise series. So thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!